Some men want to watch the world burn, others are shocked to discover their cars are self-immolating in their garages. I'm Pete King with Ride, batting down the hatches dudes and dudettes as we take on the Porsche Taycan Garage Fire. It was reported Sunday, February 16th, that a privately owned Taycan caught a bit of a fever inside its owner's garage and decided to sweat it out. Ooh, I mean, I like my pizza crispy, but that's a little too well done for me. Reportedly, the car was destroyed and the garage was damaged when the luxury EV burst into flames. Beyond this, we don't know a whole lot. Porsche has been scant on the details, though they did reveal they were notified through a customer service line. Imagine being the service representative on that call. Hello, this is Porsche customer service. How may I help you today? 911, this is an emergency. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say you have a problem with your 911? No, my car just exploded. A lot of questions are swirling over this. Was the owner charging his car in a hot tub? Did he set it on fire and just forget? It was one of those space heaters, huh? I hear they're the number one cause of house fires. Furthermore, it's hard to find the images of the fire because the Twitter user that posted them mysteriously took them down. Cover up! Here's an important point. The Taycan is electric and it's $150,000. If I'm laying down 150,000 big banging buckaroos on a speed machine of my dreams, it is supposed to be fire, not on fire. As recently as last April, a Tesla sitting in a Shanghai parking garage spontaneously combusted. It wasn't charging at the time, and it wasn't hit by another car. It just decided to impolitely end its watch. So what's going on? How did this beautiful piece of German engineering become a crater of charred ash and shattered dreams? It's more than likely an issue with proper sealing. For example, Audi recently suffered a major setback in its e-tron sales when engineers discovered a flaw in its design that could allow Allow water to leak into its lithium-ion battery cells. If you weren't aware, that made car go boom. So Audi recalled all those e-trons e immediately. Most electric vehicles are heavily rated for water sealing specifically to prevent these sorts of electrical fires. But if the Taycan ceiling was compromised and it had rained recently, that would be enough for the Taycan to meet its maker. Even with top-notch factory inspections, it's not impossible for a production unit to have an issue. But here's one fact of the case that might give you peace of mind or at least provide confirmation bias for a state we all love to hate. This fire happened in Florida. Of course it happened in Florida. For comparison, Here's some other recent headlines out of Florida. Man in Florida eats $100,000 art exhibit. Feisty alligator wax Florida trapper. Florida student tries to hire hitman to kill teacher. You get the idea. So what do you think? Was it Florida's fault? Do you have any theories as to what caused the explosion? We want you to share your wildest ideas with us in the comments. For more tech news, visit ride.tech and be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice.